welcome back to my channel. I have a bill for you guys here, uh, design preservation models. DPM townhouse number one. These DPM models are, I consider a staple in the model railroading community. They're, they're, uh, they're everywhere. I'm yeah, just getting through an unboxing here. Looking over these models, you'll find some defects. Uh, and you'll see them when you're looking at the models, just like chipped edges and stuff like this. It's not too bad. Most of the time, they're in pretty good shape. This one here had a few more defects than I'm used to. These are pretty good kits, like I say, but they, they have a few issues here and there. But this is the glass. These are used for... Uh, putting the roof in and this is the roofing material they give you this is just a little bit too thin for my liking so I take that and I set it aside and use something else this is a porch and some of you guys uh, may know that as a stoop I'm getting the work laid out here uh, biggest thing on these are the way that these uh, edges are got a draft angle one side's got brick and one side's clear and you'll kind of see the beveled edges on these and uh, most of the work on this model is getting this uh, this draft angle removed by sanding it and making sure you don't sand the brick side get a better look at this draft angle here just see it's kind of an angle piece so what we want to do is remove this little bit off uh, each one of these pieces I want to make sure that this squares up right. So draft angle on the top as well and on the bottom. And I generally don't uh, sand the top. I'll leave the tops as is. And you go through and just clean up. There are some little pieces here that you do have to clean off the model. And I'll take that off and sand it down a little bit just to clean it up, make it look nice. The injector pins from the process of making these things form these little annoying little holes and stuff in these and I take those down as well I want to get all this as flat as I can you get you want to get it as flat as you can so that when you get your window material put in there later it doesn't uh, cause any issues and using my little sanding station I put together. I should have a video up on this. If it's not already up, it will be up. But you can see here I've removed all that draft angle off this side of the wall. And on these uh, side walls, I'll sand them together just to make sure that I keep them the same size, same angle. And once I'm happy with the uh, the cleanness of the connection there then uh, I'll go in with uh, some putty and fill in those holes on just the areas that will be visible and I don't do this on all of the DPM models just the ones that uh, generally are in the front where you'll see the back side yeah just for the purposes of the video I thought I would show uh, how to get that done after I get that filled in, I'll make sure I sand this stuff down flat. And I'll clean all the flashing out of the windows and the doors. And I'll wash it. Uh, you can use soap and water if you want. I just rinse it with regular water. Now I've had some, quite a few comments and questions on uh, gluing to paint. And uh, a lot of times I don't include a lot of this in the videos. I try to cut the videos down as much as I can, but I've showed two different ways to do this. Uh, this is masking the areas that will be glued, and uh, also I'll show in a little bit scraping the paint off. I actually painted, painted these twice so I could show this. So with those pieces there masked, uh, I keep from getting any paint on the areas that'll be glued. Get in here and we're going to paint the fronts of these. Uh, just using some Rust-Oleum. Just any kind of brown or any kind of rust color works great for brick. So I just picked 
anything else like that. There's a brown. And you want to make sure and turn this and make sure that you cover all the areas. There's a lot of relief in these uh, models, so you have to make sure and hit it from several different angles. And here, uh, this is how you scrape the paint off if you don't use a mask. Just use a Zacto. Here I'm going to do some brickwork. And I think uh, you may have seen this in other videos. Just mixing up some white paint here. Uh, and the way I'm going to do this with all the weathering, I didn't add any gray. Uh, it's something that I didn't record, and I'm not quite sure why I didn't get any recording of the glass cleaner going into this, which doesn't really make much difference because I didn't get enough in here. So uh, the glass cleaner really does help uh, get this to drain down into the, the mortar joints. Uh, the glass cleaner just kind of helps break the surface tension and lets this paint uh, run down in there. After I get it in there, I let it dry for a little bit. It's not totally dry, but it's it's pretty dry. I go in with this Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and take it. I'm just really trying to take it off the top part so to leave the the grout lines in between the bricks. And I just kind of spot it up, just kind of make it look nice. And here I'm gonna. I'm going to put a, a gray top on this, uh, just kind of represent some concrete on the top of the building using some gray primer. These TPO models, uh, they really do have some nice detail and they really do look nice when they're done. And this one the intention is to use quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of uh, weathering so like, like on the brick I've gone kind of heavy on on the white rather than using gray. Here I'm just removing the, the tape so that I can make sure that uh, I don't have any paint on those edges and this is usually a lot of times you don't see this in my videos and I, I'm glad I'm able to put this out there for you guys so you can kind of see some of that what I do. And what I'll do here is I'll apply the glue and uh, I'll let the glue set on there for a minute and then I'll start attaching things and, and the most important thing in this is making sure that these buildings are square and uh, using my one two three block and, and my square here I'm making sure that these walls go in there as straight as I can get them this back wall that goes on here is uh, the big piece this is the one that's going to tell you if you're gonna have a pizza <laughs> a slice of pizza if you get this in there wrong uh, It'll, it'll keep the building from being square. So you just want to make sure that uh, you, you get that in there and make sure that it's the right size so that you don't have a pizza box or a pizza, slice of pizza. You just throw some rubber bands around it, let it dry. After it dries, I come back and I measure it off. I'm going to cut the roof in here and uh, using just a sign. You know, this is no big secret. Any modeler that's been modeling for any length of time in plastic knows that this, uh, all these signs and stuff you get at Home Depot or wherever you shop uh, for your hardware stuff, all this stuff is styrene. You can build a, a complete model out of this stuff if you want. And uh, they're used by modelers all over the world. And uh, I get this cut out here and just get it sanded in. Just kind of using my sanding station here to get it uh, get it a perfect fit. Here I was gonna show a little bit different roof uh, technique here using this uh, craft paper. I could have spent a little bit more time on this. I, quite honestly I, I, I rushed this this build. I, I want to try and get it together for Brian as quick as I could so he can see how I build these. I know that he's going to go through and rework some of his models, so I just want to show him how I worked on all this. <laughs> okay. Uh, kindergarten, I, I, I was the one kid that never could color inside the lines, and the, it'll show a little bit here. Uh, 
I sure would like to know what the secret is to doing these. This is the only thing that I don't like about the DPM models is painting this. Uh, the windows and the doors. So I get this paint down here. And generally, like I say, you want to use a lighter color paint uh, for windows just so they stand out a little bit more. But like I say, this is going to be in a drabby part of the layout and uh, like an older unkept area. So. Here, I'm just going to mix up some water-based acrylic here to make some, I don't know, what concrete color so I can do these window seals. Color inside the lines. I don't get the tops of these either. That's just uh, way beyond me. I sure would like some feedback if somebody knows uh, some easy way to make this uh, painting these DPM models easier. I sure like to know what it is. Here I'm getting roof all cut out and get it ready here. I've done this on a, a few models. Uh, I could have taken a little bit more time with this. I didn't get these absolutely perfect. Uh, and, and I think on these, you know, since tar paper generally is, it's a, it's a three foot wide, so it'd be a three foot wide HO scale. And I did not get these absolutely perfect. Uh, yeah, you have a little bit of leeway, but I, I think I've got one in here that's a little bit too thick for me. Here I'm just using this little doohickey, added some paint, and, uh, and the reason I like to use this is, like I say, I can't color inside the lines. This will drag inside that score line and get me a pretty good close uh, line. And this is actually a, a, a glue bottle. Here I'm getting ready to put the roof in. Yeah, just uh, cut the ends off off these two little sticks here and glue the little short pieces, one in the front and one in the back. After building so many of these DPM models, I've found it easier for me to put the roof in on two of them and then uh, flip it over and uh, add the other two from the other side and this works well for me now I've already applied the glue down into those little corners down there and I'll just slide these pieces up in there and make sure they're secure Once I do that, I get my glue applicator here with full of paint and just run a bead of glue around the edge here. That works out nice. And here on these chimneys, they're, they're metal. Uh, Probably should prime these and stuff, but I don't. I'm lazy. Put a little bit of red paint on here. And try to keep it on the outside so it appears like brick and mortar. That looks fine to me. Get a little gray paint in here. Put, I got a little black out there too. And I'll run uh, what looks like tar there. That's a good example of gluing to paint. 
And I, I can assure you that that's down there pretty good. Uh, if I pull that off, it'll pull some of that paper off too, so... I don't see any problems doing that kind of stuff. And here I'm just uh, doing a little bit of cleanup, scratching off some of this and what I can. I'm going to run a, a dull coat over this to kind of seal everything. Where I get started into some of this weathering, I want to make sure I'll be able to take some of that weathering off. I want to take it to the sink and rinse it or whatever. I don't want it to take off any of the dull coat or take off any of the, the water-based acrylics I have on here. So I just cover the model all over with this this dull coat. And once I get that done, I can put the windows in. And uh, just just note that the you're you're seeing me put these windows in. I'm using like pretty good sized sheets and. The model itself doesn't come with enough to do big sheets like I'm doing here. I have a lot of extra. Uh, and I believe probably what you wind up doing is cutting individual pieces and strips uh, to cover the windows with the material that they give you. But I cheat and use this. Use the extra stuff I have. What I'm showing here is... Uh, what I do is I scratch off a little bit of the paint on the inside so that the window material has something to adhere to once I get the glue in there. You can see where I've scratched it there. And using the big pieces for me is easier. And get some roof details. Give me a big old air conditioner. Cool these guys off in that building. North Texas gets so hot. I don't want my little shorties getting all hot inside my VPM building. So I'll cover this with a little bit of black and come back with a little bit of this metallic color. This always looks real nice. I'll do a little bit of test fit in here. See how it's going to look. This is a regular poster board. Get down at the get down at the store. I use a lot of this for different things. Uh, I like putting this on the inside of my models so that uh, it'll block the the windows out so you don't see through it. And what I do is I cut two squares here and I'll size them. Make sure they're going to slide in the corners. And then uh, do this little cut here in the middle and uh, slide them together and make a little X here. And sometimes I'll put like a little drop of glue on one corner there to hold it in. See how it makes those windows reflect? Uh, I think just, I love that. I think that just really makes a model look good. And here I'm going to add a little bit of detail to the tar paper on this roof using a cosmetic wedge. Actually, actually just using the corner of this this cosmetic wedge allows me to get into just the corner of the the tar paper here. And generally, you'll do this as you think uh, as water might run on the roof here. Uh, I'm going to kind of place a little bit of paint, a little bit of something here and there just to kind of give it a little bit of something to look at. And I'll add a little bit of water, get it thinned out and kind of dress up a little bit of areas here and there. Make it look kind of nice. And here I wanted to put some kind of a platform for this air conditioner to sit on. So I'm kind of sizing this up. feet for it. And I had these little feet. 
Now I want to make sure they're kind of squared up to the edges. Get them close. They don't have to be perfect, but I mean this stuff is really pretty small. In these videos, you know, you you get to see all this stuff up close. This here is that uh, ABS plastic. Yeah, that ABS plastic, and in, in another video I talk about this. It's it's actually styrene, but it's just it's just not high quality stuff. And here, using some plastruct, I'm gonna make some duct work. I've been experimenting with a lot of duct work lately, and uh, I don't know. I just it totally escapes me how to make some of this that looks really good. I really I'm this right here, like this is kind of a throw together, but some of the other stuff I've been doing and you know etching and doing some stuff to make them look more realistic I'm just not quite catching it but this is the fast version of uh, some deck work then I'll paint up the little junction box paint up those little pieces there with some gray and some metallic And here I'm just going to add a little piece of wire in here to connect to this junction box. I'll let that get all dry before I start messing with it. And I just kind of bend it around, make it look nice. Figure out how it best fits in there. I like a little droop on this stuff too. Let it kind of hang down on the roof. And using that thick super glue, just put that right down on the roof. Here I, I got I, I look I was looking at this duct work and it just looked too bland so I thought I'd just put some little lines or something on there kind of do something with it. This is how I do a straight line. <laughs> Since I can't I can't do a straight line with a paintbrush to save my life. So this is this is the alternative. dress it up just to kind of get something on here it looks like tar or something get some glue on both ends and set it down in here and that looks all right I don't pay too much attention to these roofs on these little buildings anyway just Fun part. Some of this weathering going with this Bragdon Enterprises weathering uh, powder. First thing I do is I start off in, in, uh, with that dark real brown and I, I cover the whole model. I go, go over everything to kind of enhance or emphasize all of the, the corners and everything this stuff can hang on. Uh, really brings out a lot of the detail. I rub it in with my finger a little bit and just kind of spread it out and make it look as natural as I, as I can. Then I'll add in a little bit of this rust color or red. I like this color. It, it's a North Texas color. You know, it's a dirt or a rust. It works good either way. I'll add in a little bit of water. The water helps this stuff stick a little bit. It allows it to go on a lot thicker using water. Uh, makes something look, uh, you know, really warm. And just for grins, I put this in here. Just make a big ugly water spot on the roof. And go around. 
around the edges where you have some dirt and stuff around the, the base of the model or the base of the building in it rather just kind of dress it up a little bit here and there now all the windows generally I go I use this black on most all the windows or that dark real brown and this is supposed to be an ugly model so black stands out a lot better now just add some some ugly spots here and there and you know just make sure I draw it down off the windows because that's where a lot of that is coming in at now you'll see I'm, I'm using this hard bristle brush too uh, and I'm going back through and I'm kind of going over a lot of it just to pull a lot of it off but it turns out, out alright I think it looks good well I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, looking for more DPM models to come along you stay tuned I got some links for you guys I sure appreciate a subscription and share you guys take care <laughs>